On a side note, my body's done and I thought I would show it to you guys. Well, hey there. Welcome to Don's Custom Paint Shop. I'm your host, Don. Now, come on in and see what we've been working on. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could uh, paint my body for me. Well, yes, of course I can paint your body for you. I don't want nothing too complicated, you know? I just want a couple little colors, a couple little details. That's really all I need, just simple colors. Yes, I can do that. Here, give me the body. Oh, yes, looks good. I can have it painted for you in one hour. Come on back and see me. Okay, uh, well, do you mind if I, if I watch you paint it? I, I'm curious to see how your professional technique is. We paint. First, what you do is you take your body like so, and you put the body like so, like this. The next thing that you do is, is you take your paint, and you shake it up real good like, okay? You gotta shake it up real good like. Okay, you gotta shake it up. Okay, I got that part. Take the paint like this, and then you apply it like so. You just give it a good old mist, all right? Just give it a good spray. Yeah, you just take it and you spray it like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, looks good. We have our sway bar and then we put it here this is our jig okay and then I went to Home Depot and bought a piece of steel rod what I'm gonna do is cut the steel rod and then I'm going to heat it and bend it to the shape of this so let's see if I can just kind of bend it just playing with it without heating it or doing anything. I'm just curious if I can just bend it like that. Okay. All right, we're gonna bend the steel and I'm gonna give it a good bend. I want it to try to take that shape. All right, so there's my first bend. And we're already starting to get, let's see here. That's not bad for your first bend. Not bad at all. So it is in the vise. And what I'm gonna do is hit it till I get a bent. See that? See that bend right there? That's what we want to achieve. So, almost, almost got it. Actually, that's not bad. grinders in the way all right let's see what that is oh all right so I'm gonna re-bend that back out it needs to come out just a little bit all right it's been about an hour later here is our original one and as you can see it fits right into our little jig 
and then here is our new one that we just made it too fits in the jig let's see here uh, a little bit different there's a slight difference in it it's not exactly it's not exactly straight it's a little bit twisted see where it's kind of twisted on that one end i tried three or four times this was our closest one uh, this one right here worked real well see it fits perfectly in the jig as well um, I was fixing to cut it but then I found that I had a slightly smaller gauge steel so I went with that and those are our it's not as clean as the original let's see here that's that's the original and then this is the one that we just made so yeah DIY sway bars that's how that goes well it kind of fits I had to do a little grinding on it to get it in there uh, I don't know if that hole though is going to be the right I don't remember how this thing goes in I don't remember if it goes through that tube or if it goes inside I can't remember I think it goes inside Oh no, that thing busted off. Are you serious? The sway bar cap just broke. Come on, Arma. Damn, are you serious? Success. Look at that. It fits. Good deal. I just gotta get this one on now. But other than that, it fits. Hmm rebuild shocks my shocks on the front are a little soft so what i did is i drained all the oil out and i got a thousand cst or 80 watt for the front it recommends this for the back but i want the front to be pretty pretty solidly stiff and i'm looking for maybe some six or seven pound springs but i can't i can't seem to find that so we're just going to fill this up with these ZD racing shocks, they have a little hole right here. And when you twist that, oil will come out of it. So it's kind of like a pneumatic bleed system because there's a bladder at the top. And we'll just tighten that up. And then I'm gonna wipe it down. Tip, let's say your new shocks that you just bought, like these ZD shocks, they do not have the collars for the inside, right? And then your stock Arma collars that go inside your stock, your stock Arma shocks, they don't fit in there. And you can't have it on the shock pole because it's too much slack. See all that, all that slack? You can't have that. That's that's not good. So you have a couple of options. You can try shrink wrap, take a couple things of shrink wrap, put it on there, heat it with a lighter, shrink it, and keep going until you get a thick enough area to where it fills in. Or you could do what I wanna do and take the easy route, fuel tubing. Take a little bit of fuel tubing. If you notice that the fuel tubing will slide perfectly on your collar see that perfectly then you just cut that okay you cut it then you put your shock together and then you run the tube through the middle hole and then you run it all on there and your shock is in place and we're done so you can see maybe you can see that there's a little bit of hose protruding out of the top there but that's fine. That shock is in place. Yeah. And then, God, the, the front still feels soft. I think I just need heavier springs. These springs right here are real soft. And On a side note, my body's done and I thought I would show it to you guys 
truck and everything. It looks pretty bomb. I like it. Looks good. Got these skid plates on it. Hopefully it will, I even put some on the front here. Hopefully it will protect the truck for a little while. But it looks good. I'm liking it. Alright. One thing I do like though guys is when everything comes together. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Look, I took, I tried to take as much as the tracks and stuff off as possible but I put Creighton stickers on it. I do like the carousel though with all the different oils. These are shock oils. And then I put my diff lube oil, also a Traxxas kit, on the wall here. I like that. Uh, question, this thing, it comes off super easy, but I, I don't wanna zip tie it cause then that's gonna mess up the look. So I'm not sure if I'm going to super glue it, but I don't know if super glue will work against this aluminum and steel or if it will hold tightly because if you have that on there and you're running the truck, I mean just the slightest little bump like that will make this thing fly off. All right, to work. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. I, I really like my... I really like the tires and the truck and I really appreciate you guys supporting me and helping me out. Um, thank you. I like my workbench and I like you guys and I like this truck. Come on back. <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of my way. Ugh. I can have it. You know, one thing I do like though, is when everything comes together, it just looks phenomenal. I cannot agree more. One thing I do like though, guys, is what side am I at on this? Okay, so now 